This is a quick tutorial on cutting rules in SheetCam. This example focuses on plasma cutting, but it can also be useful for other methods of cutting. For example, when milling, you may want to slow down on sharp inside corners to reduce the load on the cutter. When plasma cutting, you often need to turn off the torch height control and slow down on sharp corners, so I'll show you how to do that. First, we need to set up the code snippets to turn the torch height control off and on. So we'll create a code snippet, THC off, and the codes on this machine to turn the THC off is M998. And create another one for THC on. M999 THC on. So we now have our two code snippets. Now we need to create the cutting rules. So open the cutting rules editor and add a new rule set. You can have as many rule sets as you want for different thickness materials or different tools. So we give it a name and then we want to add a rule. The first rule is to slow down when you make the initial pierce and when you do the lead in. So torch height control off, feed rate 70%, the first 15, mil 15 millimeters of the cut and then turn the torch height control back on again. The next rule is at the end of the cut we want to turn the torch height control off. You don't need, obviously at the end of the cut you don't need to worry about the feed rate. The next rule, we want to worry about sharp corners. So on, on all corners, you have got the option to do just inside corners or just outside corners. In this instance, we'll do on, on all corners, tighter than 45 degrees, 10 millimeters before the corner, we'll slow down to 70% and turn, turn the THC off. Two millimeters after the corner, turn the THC back on again. Now we need to apply those rules to our cut operation. So we open the cut operation and select the rules that we, we created. Now if you look at the tool path, we see it's changed colour where the feed rate has been reduced. The crosses indicate where code has been output. So the feed rate has been reduced for the, for the initial 15 millimetres of the cut before it returns to normal feed rate and slows down again for this corner. So we'll create another rule go back into the rules editor for sharper corners so on all corners again tighter than 90 degrees we'll slow down 15 millimeters before the corner and reduce the feed rate to 50% turn the torch height control off 3 millimeters afterwards turn the THC back on again now these rules overlap now what happens when, you, when the rules overlap is the one with the lowest feed rate generally takes priority. So for instance on this corner, which is a tight corner, the 90 degree rule will apply because it over completely overlaps the 45 degree rule. Now for example, if the start rule overlapped, which we will we'll do, we'll change this one to 25 millimeters. Now the start rule is set to 70 percent, the 90 degree rule is set to 50 percent and the rules overlap about here. So the first bit will be done at 70 percent then it will reduce at this point down to 50 percent for the rest of the rule. So we'll now do a simulation. So go to mode, simulation, start. It comes along, does the pierce, torch height controls off, and we're running at 70% feed rate at the moment. So it runs along and that's the point where the um, rules overlap so it's dropped, now dropped down to the 50% feed rate where it continues around the corner. And then we've turned the torch height control back on again and resumed at 100% feed rate until it hits the next corner. And so on. One thing you need to be aware of, specifically for plasma cutting, is that these cutting rules do not apply to the pierce, because the pierce is not considered part of the tool path. So we always need to make sure the torch height control is off before we pierce. 
the easiest way to do that is with that rule that we set up in the beginning to turn the torch height control off at the end of each cut. Another useful rule is to turn off the torch height control before the end of the cut. In this case you want to turn off the torch height control a set distance before the end of the cut. You don't want to take the length of the lead-in into account. So we create another rule before the end of the cut. We don't include the lead-out and we turn off 10 millimeters before the end of the cut. We turn the torch height control off. And there, 10 millimeters before the end of the cut, torch light control goes off. If we had no lead out, or if we have a longer lead out, this point would not move. And that completes this quick cutting rules tutorial.